but essentially what we're trying to do is we have our our two and our three basically somewhere in the elbows we have our point guard here and then we have our pulse pulse player somewhere in here so now from here on the made basket they have somebody taking the ball out so usually you know most teams have the four man taking the ball out well that's who our point guard is responsible for that's his man so now usually you have two guys one or two guys somewhere in this area so if the point guards right here three would be the closest guy and so now he's denying him from catching the basketball and then if there's another guy over here let's say it's their two man well now we would try and deny him from catching the basketball and usually there's two guys long so let's say the four man's over here this guy our five man helps as much as possible all he's responsible for is if that's a long pass getting the hand on it and not letting them complete the pass and then there's usually a guy down here maybe the five man and the four has the same responsibility so he would kind of be in this area seeing the ball seeing his man right there so now once the ball comes in we're just trying to put pressure on them they may line up in a different alignment like let's say they bring another guy up here let's say they bring their five man or our four man now he would come up and he'd be responsible for him here and the five still has the furthest guy away from the basket wherever he is you know if the four is over here we could have our five man in here but essentially we're matching up man for man so once the ball comes in we'll say ball so let's say they throw it right here they get the ball into the point guard so our one man is on him and he's really pressuring as soon as they say ball well he's responsible for the four man so he has to talk and he'll say two man switch so he'll tell he'll say if that's Jamel he'll say Jamel push up so Jamel would get up on the four man so usually most teams will have this guy slightly below the ball so we'll open up like this right here so our guy would be looking at the ball right here and just have an arm right here ready to get in the passing lane so now that two guy you know he may flash middle he may stay right over here and let's we'll just make it easier for now and let's say uh, they had the five man here we'll have x4 and we'll have the four man here we'll have our five defender here so we'll make it easy so now he's responsible for that guy so again he's providing as much help as possible so what we want to do on this we want to try and get him out of control that's where it's going to become unique because last year we got up and we really pressured the, you know we get up under these guys and we got called for a lot of fouls last year so if they're going to call the fouls the way they say they are uh, it, it'll be interesting to see if we can really speed the opposing team up but what we want to do if he looks let's, let's say this guy's tentative and he looks to make a pass here obviously we can get a hand on it we should be able to get to in, any of these passes and we want to make those passes as difficult as possible so what we want this guy to do is put his head down and drive it so if he takes off driving it right here we're going with him this guy would jump to get in his way right here so usually and he, he, he would say switch or go right here so now our two man is right here usually this guy would be going the one would be right here so our one defender is right here um, so we've got I'm sorry that's our three man here so now where is he gonna pass the ball most likely he's gonna pass it right there so now that's Lonnie or Shaq on the flight of the ball they're looking to get a steal right there the guy that was on the ball just takes an angle and now he's got him but the five man can help him a little bit on it um, the other thing that could happen out of this let's see, and then the one x3 let's say he decides to come up here well now we're trying to turn this guy and the same thing would happen he would come over here to get him and say go and now obviously that's the easy pass he's looking to shoot it and the guy that was on him just looks to rotate out of it 
So those would be the simple ways that we would rotate and try and speed them up.